each of us have biases. We all have them. And let's own that. I hope you spend some time this morning being really introspective. And sometimes our bias is not only triggered by how someone looks or where they come from, but also how that person thinks. What if they voted for the other guy? What if their deeply held religious beliefs run counter to your own? What if you just fundamentally disagree on what you both perceive as true or false? You see, in this hyper-politicized society we're in, more and more, for example, political bias is showing up at work because the fact of the matter is more and more of us are talking about it at work. 42% of American workers say they have personally experienced political disagreements in the workplace. The fact of the matter is we don't have the right to be agreed with, but we have the right to be heard respectfully. Everyone has that right. Inclusive workplaces encourage authentic dialogue about diversity, inclusion, acceptance, and belonging. They create space to challenge our own thinking. And the key is not just to hear what you already know or think you know, but to challenge your own thinking, yours and my own. And here's the thing, not one of us is immune. We can't be expected to rid ourselves of every vestige of our own prejudices and our bigotry. All of us bring our history with us. A lot of this was baked into us as children, and some of it's just human nature. And so people like of us sit in the room and we go talk about other people's unconscious biases. You've got to ask yourselves, what are mine? 